how do we measure ROI with an AI automation project? Well, first of all, most of the time, it just comes down to savings. Most people are automating existing processes. So say, for example, but imagine you had an administrative process, you're some sort of insurance company, and you can see, hey, we've got uh, two and a half full-time employees that are doing this daily function. And we look at it and say, hey, I think we can automate 90% of it, keeping a human in the loop to be quality assurance there. It might cost you $10,000 to automate that whole system. Th those things are out there. Well, you just do the math and say, well, my average employee cost is $50,000 a year. Two and a half employees is going to be $125,000 in wages. It cost me $10,000 to automate it. You need to look at the long-term cost of the automation, the maintenance cost, the... Um, the, the tokens, like the actual, what you're paying to the AI models to, to use their intelligence and plug it into your automation is typically super low. If it's a high cost, you're probably saving a lot more on labor because the cost of tokens or this intelligence is, is super, super cheap. So, but it's typically looking at the holistic cost of the project you're, you're, you're building, for, including the, uh, the internal time, the external, you know, development resources, the, the licensing cost of uh, the API connections but which are, are, are minimal and then comparing that with a sort of total, total labor cost moving forward. And from that, we come up with an ROI calculation. Um, there's other situations though, where it's kind of hard to figure out the return on investment and you just kind of have to guess a number that that's when you're doing something that you're not directly saving on labor costs, but you're adding a lot more value, like by say reducing error rates. I've seen situations where someone's like, yeah, we don't spend a lot of time on this, but occasionally our humans are screwing up or they, they make a mistake or they take too long and suddenly a client doesn't pay a bill and that can cost us a fortune or constrain an entire relationship. So in those cases, you just kind of have to do a really rough estimate and say, well, on average, humans are resulting in X number of errors per year that I think AI could eliminate and that could save us losing one client per year and each client for me is worth a hundred thousand dollars a year and rough math on some things and uh, yeah then there's other things where that you just you can't even <laughs> you can't put math on on the return it's like you're you're developing a new process like I don't know training up new employees and you now build an agent that will answer all of their questions and help them be better employees and maybe reduce your turnover rates or help them uh, reduce the cost of training a new employee, but it's really, really tough to measure what that is. So I, I think most of the time, you know, not 90% of the time, you can just strictly look at an existing process, assess what it costs uh, in, in terms of labor over a year and say, what percentage can we automate, do your math and you get your ROI. But you can't forget there's a lot of these other uh, values that you can, can't really measure all that well.